Hey, what's up, guys? Today we have the last review of the Rocky Mountain Blitz. It's a sad day. That either means up more upgrades or a new bike. That's you today on Shane Dunford. What we got here is a nice, big, tired, playful bike that can actually jump. It is extremely enjoyable to ride around. Its gearing is very easy, very manageable, but it has an obtainable top speed that some people would find difficult to get to. It likes to oversteer, especially in mud. If you go plowing into it, your rear will be coming around. It wasn't the best in mud, as I could tell over this season, but especially because we have had snow, it hasn't got to taste any of that white powder. It's stiff, but not too stiff. Just right in the middle. It's big tires more than compensate for that stiff chassis but I have noticed some flex in the fork when uh, braking it soaks up chunder like nothing else you would not believe how soaky those tires are and with the fact of them being so gargantuan you can actually jump on these uh, tires and the fork slash rear will not break, just not a far. Personally, on the opinion of brakes, I've swapped mine out for level TLs. They're just lighter and more powerful. My main con would have to be how it's not very fast. It maxes out at like 29 to 35 kilometers an hour. It does jump, but I wouldn't recommend far. And its brakes were just not very good. They had a good bite point, but to really get anything through, you really had to muscle them around. The ceramic levels should be included in stuff of those, but it's just Rocky Mountain's choices at this point. 